Hello Torah sets a fun foundation for education. Some happy memories I have from younger grades is being able to see the older kids and doing activities with them and meeting the older kids when we were like the youngest. I grew up looking forward to being the older kids leading school and like for the younger kids to look up to us. When I was in kindergarten, we always had like a Friday snack for Shabbos. It was always so much fun. And then this one week we made stone soup when we read a book and then we actually made it in class. I vividly remember that as like one of like, the best like Friday snacks I've ever had. The sitter play was the first uh, thing that we did at Hello Torah as like a class. It was very meaningful. We got our sitter in. It was like the first thing that we accomplished in like first grade and last of the sitter. Reading workshop was one of the best things that we did for me in um, in elementary school. The teachers would help us um, get the books that were correct for us, and um, all the teachers that I had that did teach reading uh, that did teach reading workshop, Miss Weinstein, Miss D. Um, we're all really amazing at just finding every kid the right type of book so that everyone wanted to read. <laughs> Learning about um, Jewish holidays in, in Hill Torah was really amazing and it really impacted me because I took what I learned from Hill Torah and applied it to how I did it at home. It was just really cool to see like how everyone else does it and just make connections. I think starting in elementary school, we would go on Fridays to the computer lab and we would use different websites to learn how to type better with like all with all your fingers and uh, without looking at the keyboard. A lot of the materials we used to learn were online, so by learning and just going to class I was able to use computers more and therefore throughout the years improve in how well I can manage and uh, navigate on a computer. The third grade Chicago trip is a trip to downtown Chicago where we get to go to the Willis Tower, a boat tour, and to the Bean. Uh, at the Bean we got to eat our lunch and on the boat it was very nice. We got to see the skyline of Chicago. It was a really fun trip. Being in plays from third to fifth grade it was really fun and a really cool experience for me to kind of just like be, like have a new hobby and see like what I could do. I also gained a lot of confidence um, from like being in like lead roles and it felt like a big accomplishment to me. State Fair was a project we did in fifth grade. We, every um, person got a state, they would research it, they would put together a little project and we would end up showing the rest of the school. It was our first big project and we were able to show our creativity and show our hard work. We were able to see ourselves and the rest of the school was able to see also. Hello Torah has so many opportunities to offer. Two classes that really helped me improve my writing was um, language arts and Jewish history. I had so many homework assignments and essays, and just rereading my work just helped me have better grades. I've grown in my Judaic studies by understanding like the meaning of what the Gemara is saying. Every year, like, we focused a lot on Gemara and all that type of stuff, and so from that, every year a little more, I was able to understand it like, a little more. I think davening at Hilatora means a lot of things. I guess you really feel like you're part of like a real minion there. Being a Chazan, I feel like, you know, I'm leading everybody, I know what I'm saying. A lot of teachers have helped me grow in the davening. For example, Rabbi Litek really helped me understand the words davening and really helped, and it impacted my davening and helped me grow religiously. Chazan in middle school is a really special opportunity. Unfortunately, with COVID, we didn't get to do that. But a positive about that is that we were able to talk and help people who are out of town. When we were doing Charcheret, we were able to hear from a breast cancer survivor that was in New York. And like, out of a year that was so hard for everyone, I think that that's a big plus. 
This year, as one of our Chesed um, programs, we got to pack packages for um, Sharsheret, which is like an organization for women with breast and ovarian cancer. So um, we did a drive that everyone could bring all these items for the organization, which we packed in like these bags and gave it to Sharsheret, which is really fun. Extracurriculars mean a lot to me. You know, they're a way to have like fun things I want to do outside of school. Yearbook was challenging at some times, but I really liked having that leadership role and being able to help my peers and make a book to remember ourselves by. Field day was really fun. We each got a different grade or two to do activities with, and it was really fun planning with our group. And we had to think about ways it would be COVID safe with social distancing and like the cohorts. And for me also, it was really fun because I was a yearbook photographer. So I got to take a lot of pictures. And it was just really fun because the whole grade was just doing one thing and everyone had a role to do. The Hour of Code taught me uh, the basics of programming. Since uh, school sometimes stresses me out, kind of just helps me calm down. I can code what I want, ideas that get through the day, and then I get all that off my mind, and then, and then I'm ready to learn. No day goes by in Hello Toro without some type of activity or kumzits, and I love that I get to be with my friends every day. Being a part of a kumzits at Hello Toro just brings so much happiness. You get to sit and sing your heart out that I get to wake up and be excited to come and learn because I know that there's always something to look forward to. Two attires, we each got a pair of Capdilla, but this year we did a uh, psyche. And you explain the psyche, and then you do an art project about it, and then you come all together with your, with your mothers, and you explain it, and you each present your own psyche or pair. So it was really great. During Yom Ma'ut, Everything stops and we all kind of take a break and we all connect everything to like just Israel. And it just really helps everyone kind of get a better idea of how amazing it is. And so when I traveled with my family to Israel, I feel way more connected. Mrs. Kakon went into depth about Israel and what's going on now. And she also explained how Israel was founded and, and it helped me learn because you felt that you were included in the class and you actually got to participate and even if you didn't know the correct answer, you were still like called on and you were still involved. I think the Benoche like really helped us kind of feel more connected with Israel. Like they talk to us in Hebrew, they help us learn more, they tell us about their life in Israel and also like they make sure that we all know that we can always talk to them. They're kind of like a sibling, they're always with us. This year was my first year at Hillel Torah, and it was really nice to walk into a school when there was clearly a sense of community, and I think that automatically made it easier for me to make friends, and that's also made the learning environment at school more comfortable. It made school more fun. I've been able to make many friends, and what we learn in class is always fun. There's always something nice going on. And it's really nice to learn with all our good teachers, a lot of good teachers. It'll definitely be a memory that I'll have forever. Having Miss D get married in our grade was actually really exciting because we got to like kind of like celebrate it. Making personal connections um, with teachers means a lot to me because I feel like you can grow on a deeper level with them. Like once you grow older, like in middle school, you have the same teachers for a lot of subjects. So you're while you grow, you're also growing with your teachers. So you could talk to them about more personal subjects. Rabbi Leipzig has made a difference in my life by like making the learning fun. I feel like I could stay in touch with Rabbi Leipzig because he was like also my advisory teacher, and I feel like he would want to talk to to his like students outside of school. Hello Torah has inspired me to be more religious and more spiritual. The things that they're teaching us and they're teaching me personally, I could connect to and I am going to continue to be that person. Friends at Hello Torah are friends that I'm going to have for the rest of my life. I get so many opportunities at Hello Torah to meet with friends and make new friends 
and it helped us learn in a very fun way. We are all connected. Connected. Mechubarim. Connecting the dots. To each other. To our studies. Our hobbies. To our school. To our community. To the world around us. Le'am Yisrael. Le'er is Yisrael. To our teachers. Families. Friends. To our inner selves. L'nishamot shalanim. As we look back, we want to thank our parents. Teachers. Staff, administrators, and all those at Hillel Torah who have helped us reach this point. And as we move on to high school, let's keep the connection going and always stay connected. Mazel Tov, class of 2021, Tavshin Pei Aleph.